Hello, world folks. Good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of world news and analysis. Before I move on to any further details, I really love to thank you all for enormous love and support. In case you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now, and don't forget to press that bell icon. Apparently, the Duke and Duchess' prospective partnership in King Charles's coronation has certain members of the royal family on the edge. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have not given any hint whether they attend the coronation of King Charles, scheduled for May 6th. Though the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been invited to the event, reports suggest the royal family has concerns about their attendance. In their most recent episode, Russell Myers and Zoe Forsyth, co-hosts of Pod Save the King podcast, discussed Harry and Meghan's potential reunion with the royals. Mr. Myers said that while they are still undecided about coming, they will undoubtedly be invited. He added that they would regret not going and asked why they would want to pass up such an opportunity. Ms. Forsey said that it's such a historic event that regardless of tensions, they would regret not being a part of it. Reports suggest that the Duke and Duchess would not attend the coronation if they were greeted with the same awkward tension as the late Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations in June and her funeral in September. Some members of the royal family are still deeply hurt and think that Harry and Meghan should not be at the coronation, as they don't want to turn into a circus. Myers argued this puts him in an awkward position because he reckons it will be the same. In his memoir, Harry insists he wanted a sit-down conversation with his family, specifically his brother and father, to address tensions between him and his wife and the rest of the royal family. He wants apologies, reconciliation, or at least willingness to reconcile. Nothing has changed since he sat down for several media interviews last month, Mr. Meyer said. As far as I'm aware, they still haven't had a summit. Those serious conversations about everything, I, I don't think they'll be too forthcoming before the coronation. There were no pleasantries from the family when Harry arrived at Balmoral after his grandmother's death. And this is before the book. So how can it not be the same, Meyer said. The issue still remains. If there's a cooling of tensions, it's not going to be any time soon. Harry might have to suck it up and get used to it. Fitzwilliams, royal expert and commentator, suggested Harry may choose to stay at home to avoid further public ridicule. His security concerns may influence his decision. Fitzwilliams explained that Harry's concerns over security, which will not be helped by his revelations about members of Taliban insurgents he personally killed, may influence his decision. Despite reports and concerns, some royal commentators believe Harry and Meghan will attend the coronation. If they don't go, they'll regret having not been part of a historic event. Regardless of tensions, it's a momentous occasion. They shouldn't pass up. It is expected Harry and Meghan will be invited, and the king won't want to churlis not to invite them. Mars and Forsey's comments are a testament to speculation and curiosity surrounding the Duke and Duchess. While some people believe that the royal family has concerns about their attendance, others believe that Harry and Meghan will attend the coronation. And it remains to be seen whether they will attend the event and what kind of reception they'll receive from the royal family. So what do you guys think about this news? Write it in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling Royal updates, like this, subscribe, and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.